السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعزائي الطلبة صف الخامس الابتدائي معكم مدرسة الرحمن مدرسة الساينس في مدرسة الميكانيزا الدولية Now we can speak about circulatory system circulatory system function circulatory system function it transforms digestive food and oxygen to all my cells and also carry the waste from cells to another cells now we are speaking about the concept or comparison of the circulatory system. Circulatory system consists of heart, heart, blood vessels, and blood. The heart consists. The heart is a muscular whole organ that flow with the blood, that connect with blood vessels. The heart is Location of the heart within the chest cavity between two lungs. Between two lungs, the, the heart consists of four a chamber, four a chamber, upper a chamber and lower a chamber. Upper a chamber, upper a chamber, left and right, and lower chamber or venter. This is a two side of the heart that separated with the wall, separated with the wall. The wall is separated between two sides of the heart that prevent mixing the blood. The heart consists of two chambers, upper chamber, the left, uh, left atrium and right atrium, and left ventricle and right ventricle. There is a valve between two sides, between upper chamber and lower chamber. The valve is prevent, prevent it allow the blood to flow from atrium to ventricle and prevent returning the pain. This function is busting of the blood in one way, one way from atrium to ventricle, atrium to ventricle and prevent returning pain. Prevent returning pain. Now we can, we can speak about the blood vessels. Blood vessels, it is the blood flow inside the blood vessels. Blood vessels consists of arteries, veins, and blood capillaries. Arteries exist, they are emerged or come out from the heart that carry oxygenated blood from the heart to all body parts except pulmonary artery. Except pulmonary artery. Example of the arteries is a work, a work is largest artery of the human body and pulmonary artery. Uh, arteries, they are wide and large, wide and large, or things. Uh, uh, but the veins, veins is they are blood vessels. Blood vessels that can dexygenated blood, except pulmonary veins, except pulmonary veins. And the end of artery is blood capillaries. End of artery, blood capillaries. There is an artery and the end of artery is blood capillaries, and the beginning of veins is blood capillaries. Now, can we, we can speak about the veins are blood vessels, blood vessels that carry blood, that carry blood from all body parts and into the heart and enter the heart, carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins. The, end, the beginning of at beginning of this there is a blood capillaries. Blood capillaries between artery and veins. End of artery and beginning of veins. Now we are speaking about blood capillaries. Blood capillaries it is a network that's of thin, thin, uh, thin walls that can. So she gives food and oxygen to all the cells, all the cells. Now, 
we are speaking about that blood. The blood in human body is consists of red blood cells, white blood cells, plasma, and blood platelets. Red blood cells, they are the red. They are red blood cells. They are red, red blood cells. Are we see? They are red cells without nuclei. Without nuclei. The function it carry. They are carrying, carry the blood, uh, carry the oxygen through the, uh, from the lung, oxygen from the lung to all body parts. And carry carbon dioxide from all body parts enter the lung. White blood cells, they are the white cells with different nuclei. With different nuclei. We can compare between red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cells without nuclei. But white blood cells with different nuclei. Red blood cells carry oxygen from lung to body parts. And carbon dioxide from all body parts to the lung. But white blood cells defends the body against by force, by attack, by attack. Blood blankets, they are small fragments. Small fragments, they, the function that have information, the blood clot, or blood coagulation, blood coagulation, that use the in healing the wounds, healing the wounds. Plasma, they are a yellow watery fluid, yellow watery fluid. That all components of the blood suspend it, suspend it, and they can, they can. Oxygen, uh, food or digestive food, oxygen to all the body cells, all the body cells. The red blood cell, white blood cell, blood platelets, and plasma. Plasma, all components of the blood suspend in plasma. Suspend embryos and carry digested food, oxygen, all the body cells. Red blood cells that carry gases to, from lung to all body cells, oxygen, and carry carbon dioxide from the cells to the lung. But blood might carry digested food, digested food. White blood cells, it is the uh, function is defend the body against my own. But bleeding or blood bleeding, formation of blood clot, formation of blood coagulation, blood coagulation that healing the walls. All um, generally, function of the blood is to fight, transport, transport function or delivery the material to the cells. And the red blood cells and plasma. Red blood cells carry oxygen from lung to body cells and carry carbon dioxide from all body cells to the lung. But plasma carry digested food to all the body cells. The two points, the uh, white blood cells defend the body against the microbes and the platelets or blood platelets that help in for healing the wounds or that form the blood coagulation. The blood coagulation. The two part of the function of the blood transport, transfer or glare with the material and defend or protection of the body. And the third point is need or keep the body temperature constant. Keep the body temperature constant. The passing of the blood through the heart. Now we can speak in them about the passing of the blood from the heart. Now uh, we can speak in the heart. The heart is consists of four chambers: upper chamber and lower chamber. Upper chamber and lower chamber. Upper chamber receives the blood from veins, and lower chamber pumps the blood to arteries. Bumps of blood to arteries. All body cells carry the blood from carry the blood and into the collect the veins. 
superior and inferior collects the beams and collects the blood from all body parts and enters the upper channel. Then the is the right channel, right channel, right atrium. And right atrium, the blood goes or part from the valve, from the valve. The valve, the valve open and pass. The valve, valve open from right atrium and passing the blood from right atrium to right ventricle. And valve when closed, then the right ventricle pumps the blood to pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery goes to the lung and the lung to exchange of the gas. And the blood carrying the blood beat with oxygen into the left atrium through four pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood to the left atrium. The valve open and passing the blood from left atrium to left ventricle through the valve. And the valve will close. And the blood, the blood go to aorta. Aorta is the largest artery in the body. And go to all body parts. To and then the the wall of the left ventricle thickness the right ventricle because the left ventricle pumps the blood to aorta to all body parts. Your system. 